BitFilm Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to do a laser bolt from the side. So I have a piece of this footage that has already been rotoscoped as far as the lightsaber is concerned. We're just going to add the um, blaster bolts. If you want to learn more about how to rotoscope a lightsaber, I have a link in the description below to a video where I do that. So I'm gonna take this clip and I'm gonna right click on it and say make into a composite shot, click OK. And I'm going to add a new layer, it's a plain layer, and it will house our blaster bolts, so I'm just gonna call it bolts, and click OK. Now you'll notice that it covers the um, file underneath it, the video clip underneath it, so I'm gonna right click on it, say blend mode, add, and that will uncover the clip underneath it. From here, I'm gonna search for the lightning effect and the lightning and electricity, drop it on that plane. Now I could drop it on the main clip, but it's much better of an idea to drop it on its own plane. That way you can make changes and do things with it later, okay? Under that lightning and electricity effect, I'm gonna twirl it open, make a couple of changes. I'm gonna start by making the wave scale zero and the twitch scale zero. Also, I'm gonna come down to the branches and make the quantity zero, okay? Under the uh, glow, I'm gonna change that to be red so it looks like a laser bolt, okay? All right, now I'm going to add a new point layer and I'm gonna call that bolt front. And if I have more than one bolt, then that might be bolt one front, versus bolt two front or whatever. I'm gonna right click on that and duplicate it. And then I'm going to rename this one by using my F2 key, bolt back, okay? Under the bolt plane effect, under the start uh, point, I'm gonna zero that out and I'm going to use the bolt front. Under the end, I'm gonna zero that out and I am going to use the bolt back. So now everything is assigned to these two points. And if I were to say, for example, move those two points, then you can see. Now, if I wanted to change the width of that, I certainly can the way that I would do that under the effect itself, under the um, start point, I maybe make the width, um, oh, let's make it two and uh, under the end point, I would make it two also, but I might make it one, depending on how far away it was, or I might make it five if it was really close, kind of a thing. Um, but for this shot, about two is probably good, okay? All right, so now what I can do is, is I can go ahead and start working with the position points here, okay? If I use my control key, I can grab them both and I can just sort of drag them around, see on the screen, okay? So I'm gonna drag them off the screen here, and then I am going to keyframe both positions here, okay? Now what's gonna happen is, is I'm actually gonna move forward up until I want to actually hit that, okay? And let's say I'm gonna hit there, okay? What I would do then is, is that I would position it on impact as to where it would end up being. Okay, I'm gonna back up three frames, one, two, three, and I'm going to place that bolt where I want it to be. Um, and actually, I want it to be about 135.1. So I'm gonna make that negative 135.1 and negative 135.1. This is just for my own shot, so now here it comes in like this, okay? Now you'll notice that I have this curving effect here, and that is sort of an issue, so I really don't want to have that. I tell you what, let me just get rid of this point and this point, and that will fix that. Okay, so now it comes in. After I get to here, the next one, what's going to happen is, is the back of the bolt, I'm going to slide up because I want it to fire off that way. In the front of the bolt, I want it to come about there. Okay, then I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'm gonna take both of those, let me grab it with a control, and I'm just going to slide them straight off that way, okay? Now, you'll see that these little handles are kind of pointing in different directions. I really don't want that because it will cause the bolt to skew a little bit. For example, you can see how that bolt dips down. That's because this handle is off, and this handle 
is a little bit off. So I probably would want to straighten those out. Okay, this handle is a little bit off, right? So I, I definitely want to keep these things nice and straight. Okay, that way it won't look like it's, you know, throwing off in a weird direction. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So now if I take a look at that shot, I would say uh, that it kind of knocks that one, it, you know, kind of bings it, pew, right? And I would just keep doing that. Okay, I would keep going with that that kind of a, I'd add another one and another one, and another one. And like I said, if I have more than one on the screen at the same time, then I would have to, I would add a second bolt in the same plane, second, a lightning and electricity effect, and then uh, add a bolt two front, bolt two back and just work them that way. Okay. Now what I did, if you like this look, you most certainly can use it. Okay. But what I did was I actually cheated and I then went and found the light sword effect, 2.0, and I dropped it on here. Okay, I opened it up. Under the hilt position, I assigned it to the front of the bolt. Under the tip position, I assigned it to the back of the bolt, zeroed it out. Okay. Um, I also, I'm going to turn off the lightning electricity so you can see it. I, of course, changed the inner glow to be red, and I dropped the uh, width of it to be about 220 okay i went ahead and dropped the stability of it down to zero and i uh, messed around with some of the distortions and things like that to where i got a really nice looking what i thought was a really nice looking um laser bolt and it ends up looking exactly it, it follows exactly the same because they were tied to the um you know the same points right uh, and I like the look of that laser bolt rather than this one. So I ended up going with this one. But whichever one works for you works for me. I would say, though, that the light sword effect takes a lot of resources. So it moves a lot slower, makes it harder to work with. Uh, so I would go ahead and use the lightning and electricity effect as your placeholder, even if you're planning on using uh, your light sword effect instead. Uh, and that way you can move a lot quicker and really make sure it looks good before you end up adding your final effects. So feel free to use either one, but that's basically it in a nutshell. Next week, I'm going to talk about how to fire a laser uh, or a blaster bolt towards or away from the camera. So look forward to seeing you then. And otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday and Monday, and thanks for your support.